So what we see in finance transformation as generally spoken to in the marketplace where companies are looking to change the way their finance teams operate are primarily in three different buckets. So bucket number one is technology, process is number two, and then their people or their talent, if you would. In the first bucket on the technology front, continued focus, especially in this environment with the pandemic, on how to get much more automated and not just automated in putting in new technology, but really having a fit for purpose architecture around technology. And then a very big focus on the underlying data, its governance, its quality, having the right data stewards assigned and aligned towards the overall outcome related to what this finance transformation ultimately will consume in order for the technology, this architecture and data to provide in order to allow for the second aspect, namely the processes be redesigned to take advantage and the enablement from the new technology. So a lot of focus in the marketplace around data, fit for purpose architecture, and there are a number of different vendors and technologies, but are they the right vendors and technology? Not just given the scale and scope of what the current climate of the companies are today, but where these companies are going to next with acquisitions and mergers and IPOs and various other journeys ahead of them, how do they really structure their infrastructure to enable redesign of their processes in finance to change the way people work? And on that last point on people, a great degree on focus on how to allow for people from a change management perspective to be very successful in this new environment as the investment is made in technology and data and redesign a process, but even in the target operating model of the talent side. So developing people, certainly a big focus, having the right fit for purpose outcome for the people to work in and change the way they work, big focus. But also, do they create, continue to create shared services, centers of excellence, outsource, all those centralization type questions now come into to discussion even more so as you streamline and standardize your process enabled by technology. So overarching, that's typically what we're hearing a lot of companies focus on people, process, technology, and then coming in concert together to manage that change very much and driven, even accelerated, I would say, in this environment post pandemic or during the pandemic as it continues in their journey. That's the definition of finance transformation we hear from many of our companies in the marketplace.